Okay, the graphs are finished up. We got a cliff graft on top. That's an Eden River chestnut that I've grafted onto this seedling chestnut. And this was a whip graft, whip and tongue graft there. And I tied this up to a more horizontal position. We'll see which one of these graphs take off. Hopefully, one of the two will take off. And I'll have a nice chestnut tree here. And this is a nurse branch. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Okay, here's a follow-up to the chestnut tree grafting. Again, this was uh, an Eaton River chestnut grafted onto a seedling that had grown up from a chestnut tree that uh, passed away. And it grew up from the root. So this is one of the two on top taken. That's a cleft graft in there. And then over here, we had a whip and tongue graft, and two buds on that stick have taken and grown out pretty nice. Gonna have to do it again next year because I've had another chestnut tree. This one's a king, completely died to the ground. Leafed out, grew about eight inches, and completely died back to the ground. If anyone has any clue why a tree does this, a chestnut tree, let me know. This is the second one. Uh, I just showed you the first one that did, did this last year, and this is number two. And it's pretty discouraging. I'm not going to grow chestnut trees much longer if this continues, so... Any clues, let me know. She is dead all the way to the ground. 